I chose to be a teacher of African history. I chose to look in the Bible where I couldn't find my people. I started looking for them in the world, and I didn't stop until I found them. And I know why they were left out of the Bible. I know why all the angels are white. You mean to tell me God is merciful, God is kind, and not one little brown or black angel sneaked into hell? I ain't buying that. <laughs> According to the Greek historian and father of European history, Herodotus, Greece had no gods of their own. Their mythology was derived entirely from foreign sources, and it was Africa that furnished Greece with the majority of its legends. Not only were the Greek gods derived from African sources, early art and literature depict many of the Greek gods and goddesses as black Africans. In ancient Egypt, black represented fertility and resurrection. We can see that manifestation in the Neturu men and Osiris. There were a select few among the ancient remnants who achieved the status of Neturu themselves. We can see Akmos Nefertari here, depicted in pitch black. The color is not meant to represent her skin color, rather, her status. In Asia, Krishna and Buddhas are among the countless black gods. The word Krishna from Sanskrit literally means black. And J.A. Rogers cites this description of Buddha from the Cambridge Encyclopedia. Ancient civilizations in the Americas also had their share of black supreme beings. Ixlatan and Quizocoati were gods of the Aztecs. Ixlatan, whose name means little black one, was the god of medicine and healing, while Quizocoati, meaning feathered serpent, was revered as the inventor of calendars and books. In North America, the deity, Black God, was not only the creator and personification of fire, but he is also credited with giving order to the Pleiades star cluster. If ancient Asians, Americans, Australians, Africans, and Europeans all worshipped Black gods, how have all these images turned white? There are many in the so-called conscious community who are rallying against Marvel's recent movie release of Black Panther, claiming that all the movie is accomplishing is making money for white people. Those ultra-revolutionaries just may be underappreciating the power and value of images. A power and value that the fair-skinned slavers understood all too well, which is why they had to change the color of God. Through the use of comic books, paintings, and other vivid imagery, the color of God was transformed and projected at the same time savage caste systems with dark at the bottom and light at the top were created. It was the dawn of the so-called white race, an era referred to by Africans as Ma'afa, a Swahili word that means the great disaster. It is ironic in the dark age of Africans that the knowledge of black gods has been so suppressed. And it therefore stands the reason that if Africans wish to be illuminated, they should return to the black gods from their illustrious beginnings. <laughs>